Emerson Fittipaldi has been looking for a legacy project. Fortunately, he has a high-quality legacy to draw upon. The Brazilian-born driver won the Indy 500 twice, the Global Car Championship once, and was the youngest person ever to earn a Formula One championship back in 1972. Though he's 70, he still races on occasion. It would not be accurate to say he's slowing down. But there was still something he needed to cross off his to-do list. It was always in the back of my mind to build a GT car, he says, during an extensive interview. He was going to produce such a vehicle in Brazil a few years ago, but his financial situation, and that of the country, degraded, and he began looking for other options. I learned something new in America, he says. It takes the best to be with the best. Fittipaldi has certainly followed this dictum. The car he's created, the Fittipaldi EF7, which was just unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show is the collaborative product of some of the premier names in autodom. I call them the dream team, he says. The concept is Fittipaldi's. The design was done by legendary Italian Carrozzeria Pine and Farina. The build will be accomplished by famed German race car engineering and fabrication company HWA, created by Hans Werner Alfred, one of the founders of Mercedes-Benz Go Fast sub-brand AMG. And the distribution of the car at least initially, will be handled by Polyphony Digital, a division of Sony Interactive best known for the enormously successful racing video game Gran Turismo.